Hi, it's Dia. Today I want to review a couple of things. I have printed books on CreateSpace, and this is an older version. The back of the pages are white, and I've also seen a lot of other people print the back of their pages black. And I was wondering if that made a difference in the way that the pages accepted ink or didn't accept ink or if it felt different with pencils and markers. So anyway, today I'm going to do an experiment. Let's take the old version first. You know what? I'm going to use this page as a sacrifice because I actually want to see how much it goes through. Okay, so this is the original version. I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to use now a Sharpie I think is alcohol based. A Tombow is an acid free water based pencil. So, all right, let's see what happens first with this book. I'm not going to be super neat. Well, I'll be relatively neat, but I want to see what happens if I actually use, you know, full force. I'm okay. Ooh, I'm scared to look. Yeah, see right here? It went through, and I haven't really even done that much. I'm not pushing crazy hard. You know what, I wonder... I have a thick version of this too. Let's see what happens. So if you're a person who likes markers, I could see why using a Create Space book wasn't working for you. Or you had to put something behind it. Let's go even a little darker. I don't know if these are named. This says fine point, which I think is kind of funny. Let's put some shadows here. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. See, yeah, that goes right through. This is, this clearly went through. I was gonna say, oh, let's use all different kind of colors, but we don't really even have to. I'm gonna use, oh, this is darker than I thought, but that's okay. I can push a little less hard with these because this point is so fantastic. Okay, let's see what happens with a Tombow. Yeah. It does go through and it, since it's water, it did, it did warp the page a tiny bit, although I can't see anything here. Do I have any other markers? You know what, I do, but they're so light. Let's see, here are some Copics. Uh, here's a very light green. Am I still in? Yes. Okay, let's see what a Copic does. now. I don't think that I would really be using this color, but I don't have the whole Copic set. So it's about as close as it's gonna get. <laughs> Ooh, did you see what happened? I pushed right there and you can see the other page right through this page now. It even made it more transparent. This is kind of interesting. 
Let me see. Yep, right on this page. Ooh, I wonder if it went through another page. I can see it on the back of the second page. So the Copics really go through. Now, I know what it feels like to color on, uh, on Create Space paper. This is an Arteza pencil. I mean, it's fine. Some people really can't stand Create Space paper. I don't mind it. I kind of like the tooth. It's definitely okay. I mean, it's not Fabriano. It's not even Canson, but I don't mind it. Let's see, what's this one? This is a Bayland. So, it's nice. Secondary little test here. You can go over um, Copics with a pencil. It actually feels pretty good. You would definitely have to put paper behind the Copic if you're going to use it as is on a regular Create Space book. Let's see. Okay. Now, let's see the same test on the same page in the book that has the black background. You know, I started to color this. And I'm going to do the same thing. And let's see if it goes through. Pushing pretty hard. Let's see if that went through. Ooh, it goes through. Hmm. So I'm confused. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what people see as different with the black background. I know that some pretty popular artists use it, and I was I was actually kind of excited thinking like, oh, that's the answer. But you know what? It's not. You still have to put you still have to put paper behind it or something behind it. I'm now I'm going over colored pencil here. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, that's interesting. If you put colored pencil down first, it doesn't go through. Okay, another test. Okay, I'm going to use the same pencil. This was the lilac. Um, Arteza. And I'm going to use the Tombow and see if we can go over that. I know it's a darker color, but for the sake of science, we'll keep going. Pretty dark. No, that doesn't go through at all. Okay, let's see if the Copic goes through. If anybody has the answer to this, what makes it better, please tell me. Because 
because I know some people seem to be putting the black behind their pages and they don't really have as many people saying, ooh, I hate the Create Space paper and I'm just wondering what I can do and still use Create Space. You know, this is interesting because since this is darker behind it, meaning there's black behind this page, when I use the Copic, look at the difference in the color. So having the black behind it does alter the color a little bit. Even the page looks a little bit different. Hmm, uh, you know, I don't know what to do now because I was gonna put the next book out with black behind the pages. Tell me what you think, give me your opinion. I would love to know. You know what, I'm gonna put a water-based pencil See if that's too dark. Eh, it's a little dark. I'm gonna put a water-based pencil on top of the Copic and see how that works. Also too bright. You know, the Copic caps, no, the Tombow caps aren't exactly the same as what, as what the ink looks like, so you have to be careful. It would be a good situation to use a color chart. Yeah, I know this is not beautiful, but it's an experiment. Let's see. Nope, that didn't go through at all. The only thing that went through was the original Sharpie without the colored pencil underneath. You know what's interesting here too? The Tombow, um, ah, I think I'm using too many pens here. The Copic didn't go through. You can see it, but it didn't end, or it did it. Is that, let's see. Oh, it did, it went, it went through the tiniest bit. You can see a bit of green there. So. This is the difference. The pages are a different color when there's black behind it. If I push very hard, I can't see the next page. If I push very hard here, I can see right through to the next page. So it almost adds a layer. It definitely filters it a bit. But I don't know, I don't know. I kind of like it bright white, but it's gonna be either or. You can't have both with Create Space paper. So do me a favor, give me your opinion. Tell me what you think. And uh, tell me if you've used any other um, coloring books that have black behind it or, or use white behind it. Give me your opinion, I would love to know. Thank you for joining me today. Um, that's about it for now. I'm gonna be working on my new book. It's called Everyday Magic, and that's why I've been huh, a little MIA lately, but I'm working really hard in the next book. I think you're really gonna like. In fact, I'm gonna give you a little hint in my next video and uh, possibly do a giveaway with a page. So once again, thank you all so much for being here. I so appreciate you watching my videos and buying my books. And um, I hope you follow me here, I hope you subscribe, and I hope you find me on Facebook too, because I have a coloring gallery and I'd love to see all your work. So I'll see you soon, I'll talk to you later, bye.